Hi babies, it is nice to be back. Still incredibly surreal. It's not even been a week since I shaved all of my hair off and bleached it, but I'm already pretty used to it. It's insane, it is actually insane. I bleached my hair because I wanted to see what it looks like platinum, but also because I'm Stella and because bright colors need a bright base, bleached hair is a great starting point. One of the many things that I wanted to do to my hair once I actually buzzed it is create a bunch of different patterns, vibes, colors, everything on my hair because I feel like once you have such a kind of clean base, to work on, your head becomes a very good canvas. So, now I'm gonna be doing a combination of colors, one of which I really, really don't like. In fact, I've made a passionate plea about the fact that I really don't like this color, but I wanna give it a go today because 2022, we don't, you, how, how can I hate the color? You know, it's so. Today, I'm dyeing my hair purple. <laughs> Pink. Apply it all over my bleached hair. Buzzed hair. I'm not sure yet. I want to start off this incredible, no doubt, journey where I'm gonna be painting my buzz cut a million times over. And I really like the idea of a baby, baby pink. Like, I think a baby pink all over would look insane. This is what I have for the baby pink. This is the Kuhn color chameleon in rose. And then I want to incorporate kind of a very, very cool tone purple so that it's almost lavender-y. I also am then thinking like, what if I go the root of my skirt? There's like obvious blues. I'm just gonna play around with it. I don't really have any rules or anything. The one <laughs> very fun thing about this hair thing is that I'm not gonna be using hair brushes to dye my hair. Well, I'm gonna be using beauty blenders to dye my hair today. You know, I think that would be so so. Yay! Let's start mixing colors. It's a bit darker than I thought. Way too bright. Way too bright. Let's do the pink because I'm an idiot. Way too blue. Way too dark. Okay, none of these colors are as I want them. Quiet conditioner. That was amazing. Oh my god. Three more pink. Sophie Hannah, bubblegum pink. I messed this up so badly. I have to start over. This isn't at all what I want. I'm gonna start with Sophie Hannah's bubble pumping. All right, we're getting where we want. Yes, okay. It's time to figure out something with this. This is just way too blue. White conditioner. I feel like that could work. I feel like that could work very well. Now I just want, okay, so these are good. God, I love their smell. Oh, it's like denim. I'm also red. It looks denim-y as heck. Did we just invent denim? Stop here with all of them because I feel like these colors could work. <laughs> but it's so messy right now. <laughs> I just forgot, you guys don't really see my studio a lot. But anyways, this is, this is my studio. Hello. Those are my wig babies. Okay, get back to work. What if I go in just circles? <laughs> I really hope this penetrates down to the scope. I didn't really think that part through. Holy shit. I think I'm gonna just do like circles and just go for like a really bokeh. I never know how to say bokeh. Look just like light place. All right, guys, let's go.
now as we do with most beauty blenders. in this looking good I don't know I don't know because I've never done this before um, so far it look it, it has the potential to look cool but I also feel like it has a potential to look very very tacky which is a tiny bit alarming okay, I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes a few tens of minutes and then I'm gonna be back to <laughs> to show you what the end look is like How cool is this look? So I went into this really with just like a creative mind for the process. I didn't really care terribly much about the end result. So I was like, you know what, whatever happens, I'll be fine with it. I think it looks so cool. But seeing these colors kind of all like, they're reminding me of um, all lights a kind of bit. Like, you know, those really soft ones that kind of go and come and all of that. It's so like really subtly, like, I don't know. I can see clearly that it looks like a massive mess. Yet I still like it. Like the, the messy abstract nature of it is just like speaking to me. Admittedly different than what I normally do. It's very patchy, quite literally. That was the whole point of the video. Um, and I like it. So there. Anyways, I'm definitely going to be playing around with this beauty blender thing a bit more because I definitely think that there's more ways you know can be creative with it and i really want to explore that <laughs> always every single product that i use is going to be linked down the description box below although today it was really just me playing with all the different colors that i have if you like this video please leave a thumbs up i really enjoy seeing those and if you enjoyed me if you liked my content and if you want to see more of it please hit the subscribe button join the stellar fam let's learn it more i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you'll give it a go and i'll see you in my next video